Hello, everyone. My name's David, or Memento, whatever you want to call me. Today, we're going to do Love Bites again, because I liked it so much last time that I moved this Holy War 2021 live performance up the list because everyone uh, wanted me to watch it. So, and I wanted to watch it, is why I moved it up the list. I was going to do something else today, but I... Uh, came in to do the recording, and I thought, nope, just going to do Love Bites again because I've been waiting to hear him. So I'm going to listen to them right now. This mix is incredible. Yeah! Oh, whoa! Hold on. That... That progression is really, really, really similar to uh, Farewell by Camelot. The intro to Farewell, another incredible live performance band, by the way, the chord progressions in this intro are really, really similar to that. So if you want to hear the similarity, go look up uh, Farewell by Camelot. Oh, look at her feet go. Oh, yeah, back to the... Yeah. Oh, oh man! I don't know if I'm right about this, but this kind of sounds like a like a show ender. So if she still has that much stamina at the end of a show, and she's doing flip ups like covered in mud, kudos. Oh. Her range is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. That, okay, I'm going to stop here while there's a break, I think. Sorry. I'll, I'll track back. Someone left me a nice comment saying, hey, if you go back a couple seconds, you don't lose the thread of the song. Thank you. I'm going to do that. Uh, another thing that really stands out to me is her vibrato. She has a very, like, Broadway theatrical vibrato, and it fits so well into the music. I, I always love when I hear that kind of thing. And they all seem so relaxed. Like, they're... They're just that good, and they've been doing it for so long, and they just have the, the like the stamina to just just kind of stand there and enjoy what they're doing while they're doing it, and that it, they're exceptionally impressive. I'll put it that way. Yeah, there's that progression again. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's doing it. The uh, the uh, arpeggiation that I I don't I don't know their names. I'm sorry, but the guitarist that was just featured right there, her, the arpeggiation that she was doing on the way back into the the meat of the song was something I quite like. Uh. 
Every time, it's good. Longevity is really something. Like the pace of this song is not easy to keep up with. At, you know, without holding a note for ten seconds after singing for the last you know three and a half minutes, it's something that just keeps impressing me is their technical ability and just how good they are at things. And the texture of her voice doesn't lose any clarity doesn't dip a little bit. She stays right on pitch and the texture of the note just is the same throughout the entire hold. Not many people can do that without there being a little bit of imperfection here and there, but I can't hear any. So, and I'm not saying I'm an authority on what you can hear or not, but it's impressive nonetheless. Oh, solos! Let's go! Oh! I love that, too! Yeah, she's just so relaxed. Oh, that step down. So good. They're incredible. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh. I don't. Okay, I'm just kind of captivated at this point. Uh, in the middle of the the pre-choruses, there is a chord progression that reminds me of like uh, something like gothic sort of chord progressions in ballads that you would hear in uh, like uh, Jekyll and Hyde or Phantom of the Opera, and then. The drummer, I know I haven't talked about her very much because she's just so good that you don't notice because she doesn't make mistakes and she plays exactly what you need her to, but it's so perfect. It's the timing is perfect. The I I even like her choice of like cymbal tones. Like you can you can do things to cymbals and make them sound different, and I and you can 
tune snares and you can you know stuff pillows in the bass drum to make the tone different and everything she does I really like too there isn't anything about this band that I think oh I wish this could be better because it's all so good that you don't want for anything there there's something else and the stamina like she's just straight back into it doing stuff that's hard that she's already been doing for five and a half minutes I like I I just put up a song where I was impressed with myself that I held a 21 second scream now not everybody can do that but I can't do this and you can pitch it down and I can't do this there there's something else man <laughs> yeah! Just do it again! Just do it again! Yeah, show off! I love this. See you next time. Man alive. All right. Let's talk about these ladies a little more. They are so relaxed on stage, and the stuff they're doing would normally put people so back so back in their unconscious that they're trying so hard. You see people that get, like, guitar face where they're, like, while they're playing. They don't do that. They're so good that this is normal for them. It's insane to me. Like there's and there's so many different influences in this. Like you've got the symphonic, you've got power metal, you've got theatrical influences, you've got three or four different archetypes of of like music, like sound. Like you've got like the like a like I was saying theatrical power and you know symphonic. No, you can't blend all those normally and have it work. And then on top of that, you've got Perfect drums, insane solos, a singer that has the stamina that I I probably will never achieve. And her voice is so powerful and secure, plus the vibrato. The only time I heard a little imperfection was near the end where she had a little bit, little bit of a break, but it added to the texture of the song. It wasn't like a yodel break where you just say, oh, she messed up. It sounded like it may have been intentional, which in their case, everybody's doing everything so perfectly that it probably was. This band is incredible. Absolutely insane. I, I You know, when I, when I find music like this, my first reaction as a vocalist is to say, I wonder if I can find an instrumental and do a vocal cover because the way I enjoy music the most is when I participate in it. I would love to try to do a vocal cover of Love Bites, but I don't know that I could. So I'm just going to have to keep listening to them. So, man, thank you again, everybody, for sending me... Speaking of vocal breaks, thank you! Thanks for sending me these. I really appreciate it. When I get excited, I talk too fast. Uh, this has been a, a crazy ride so far, this second time that I've been doing videos. The last Love Bites video has like 7,000 views, which is crazy because I only have like, I don't even have 500 subscribers. So I appreciate all the love from people showing up to watch this idiot, you know, get his mind blown by people that are better than him at what he likes to do. So I can't wait to hear more. 
and I'll I'll get back into uh, different bands after this. But I really wanted to listen to this, and boy, am I glad I did. Man, they're insane. Well, I thank you again for watching. Really appreciate it. And I I got so captivated by the music that I forgot to do the the little couple second rewind thing. But I'll I'll uh, do that next time, hopefully. I'm still kind of new at this, so it's not going to be perfect for a while, and it probably never will be. So thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you next time.